Teresa with you sitting on my uh, daughter's uh, bike. I was was sitting on my husband's motorcycle, but it seemed to make my uh, dog bark. Coming at you for 2009 as we go into 2010 with a great thought that has to do with riding a bike or riding a motorcycle. It has to do with your focus. If you ride a bike and you look at the wheel, instead of looking ahead at the road, you know what happens. Well, I ride motorcycles and keeping your head up and looking where you want to go is really important. If you look down or you look to the right or the left, so often the motorcycle will go where you're looking at. It's a pivotal uh, motorcycle lesson. I was thinking about that this morning. I was praying about 2010. I still want to see so many of you win in 2010, and that's the thought that came to me. And I want to encourage you to be like that motorcycle rider. Keep your head up. Uh, look ahead. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. Don't look to the left, the economy. Don't look to the right, the ditches. And certainly, don't look in the past. Forget what lies behind and reach forward, drive forward to what lies ahead. You know, I think God wants you to win in 2010. And I know as you fix your eyes on Him, as you maintain and cultivate that relationship with Him, no matter what you got going, you're looking for provision for your vision, you're looking for stability in your relationships, or you're looking for a lost child to come home. No matter what you're looking for, I believe that before you know it, just like when you ride a motorcycle, your hands are on that steering wheel or the bars of your motorcycle and there's nothing more awesome than kicking back and cruising down the road knowing everything your head's up looking up knowing that you got an awesome ride ahead and I think God's got an awesome ride ahead for you so keep your hands on the wheel don't look to the right or the left certainly don't look behind you and finally just humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time don't grow weary in doing good for if we don't grow weary there's always a harvest in due time I'm ready to see you have provision for your vision harvest time is coming keep your hands on the wheel be diligent to invest in yourself stay in the word and I'll look forward to an awesome 2010 for you I'm Teresa. I'll certainly be in touch. I hope you'll do the same.